What's good? Oh, yes. You single mothers out there. Y'all posting your shit up. And stuff. You know. You know. Sorry about that, I had to answer a text message. So, what's the word? Fucking back page got shut down. You whores, single mothers, young chicks and all that stuff. Like doing that fucking whoring shit now. Can't do it no more. That motherfucker from Backpage, he was making bread off of that stuff. No more. Because human traffic, sex trafficking is a fucking serious offense. It really is. And in some, in some third world countries, that shit is nothing. That shit is money. In other countries, second world countries, prostitution is illegal. I'm saying prostitution is legal. So now, what are these Craigslist whores, hoes, and back page hoes going to start doing? It's simple. They are going on the dating websites like POF, Meet Me, uh, what's the other one? Scout. Uh, especially tagged because now they are floating all over these websites now advertising showing off a little cleavage a little buttocks here and there and if you're interested in them you know you know the deal we message them all of a sudden they come back with a fucking with a fucked up message talking about this is a pay to play and these are my rates <clears throat> this is how they make their living this is how they make the living. Damn, man. Where should wipe the thing came up? I just put fucking fluid in that bitch. Uh, Got to change the windshield with reservoir on my BMW. Shit's leaking out. And hopefully when I move to Jersey, I will have, I will find the time to do so. To work on my car. So, these chicks that are out there, man, they're going to post. They're going to post up. And they know when they go on those other adult escort sites, they're going to, you know what I'm saying, they on there too. Like I always said, if you meet a woman, you meet a guy, Google their number. Guarantee their number will probably pop up somewhere on some dating website. Or escort website so you get to know for the men you get to know for the chick and see if she's out there fucking advertising the whole herself because you know you got that feeling something ain't right damn I'm trying to figure out which way I want to go back home so sorry for the sun glare So it's out there. It's, it's be safe. These Craigslist, well, these former Craigslist and Backpage hoes are going on those free dating websites so they can post up. They're going to advertise. They're going to show off their best, best, bestest pictures and stuff of what they look like when they were on the top of their game. I'm saying, when they reach up to their peak. When they were at the top of the game, and now when you go, when it comes to meeting them, or they be like, "Shit, that ain't the chick that you saw in the picture." Me, the fucking Cookie Monster. <laughs> so, yo, thanks for some more subscribers out there. I like to thank uh, Phil from the Advice Show. 
Media. I'd like to thank him. He came out to New York, especially visit Harlem. Yes, Harlem is getting gentrified. You can thank the Clintons for that, along with Magic Johnson. Harlem's being gentrified. But we remember Harlem back in the 80s, 90s, was on both sides of the of the of both sides of 125th Street, street vendors. We had stores, sneaker stores, clothing stores, whatever you couldn't find in Queens and Brooklyn and stuff, you'll definitely will find it in Harlem. Get gentrified, man. Well, I used to go to get my sneakers and jeans from. Store ain't there no more. Shit got turned into a fucking, a fucking, some fucking juicer, juicer bar, or whatever. I was like, get the fuck out of here, man. You white folks, you're coming to New York. You're you're going into the poor areas, buying up the land cheap and the homes cheap. But yeah, I'm gonna save that for another day. But yo. Be aware of these fucking Craigslist holes and back page holes. They're going on the dating websites, especially on the dating apps, to fucking advertise.